Hi, my name is Jen Stark, and this is my piece called Meltdown at Carol Jazar's booth at Scope. Um, it's a six foot by nine foot paper sculpture made out of pretty much 52 separate pieces that I made by hand, cut and glued by hand, and then constructed it together. For this piece, I was inspired by like psychedelic patchwork, um, colors, like mysteries in the world, like melting organic structures, um, lots of different things, lots of psychedelic things. I wanted the piece to kind of, to look like a, just a melting waterfall, like a like a psychedelic kind of waterfall dripping down and seeming like it's almost part of the world. Hello, I'm Geraldo de la Paz, and my name is Salain Guerra, and we're Guerra de la Paz. a piece that we just installed at Scope 2010 titled Mort. It's one of our black works and uh, the piece represents death. Yeah. Um, we chose to use all black because uh, black uh, by nature is a vacuous color and um, it's, uh, it's uh, about uh, the, 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 it's a, <laughs> the final frontier. It's about it's about absence, essentially. It represents uh, a mass grave. Uh, like throughout history, there's been many uh, catastrophic events or uh, genocides, and that's basically what the pile represents. And then the bed with the man in it is more about a, you know the intimate last moments of when someone dies. You know the the the, the feeling of being alone, taking this new journey by yourself. There's no one with you when you die. Okay, and we're Kiel and Leighton. We're a collaborative team that grew up in Miami, and we grew up watching shows like Cops and ER with a fascination in reality TV. And it kind of became natural for the progression of our work to involve violence and different things like this. Uh, the new body of work, we researched the weapons of crime used. So we have guns, knives, fists, blunt objects. The blunt objects really caught our attention because this represents an object that doesn't necessarily require any planning. And they're also, they're not a tool ever designed to be something to be used for violence. They're not a gun. They're not a blade. So there's something more immediate about the blunt objects itself. We looked at different stories of actual events that happened. And then we'd take images from the internet, maybe 30, 40, 50 images, and create a collage. And it's a constant rotation of back and forth of how we de essentially develop this new tape medium. And really, once we get these whole scenes developed and we look, step back and look at how these murders have gone down, it's when you realize truth is really stranger than fiction.